one of our community correspondents, Mahmoud Bennett, is in Cape Coral. And Mahmoud, you're outside right now. It's interesting, you know, one minute we can check with somebody and the winds are blowing and the rain is driving. And then right now it seems relatively calm where you're standing. Kind of paint the picture. What's it looking like outside? Yeah, Amy, we've been tracking uh, the effects of Hurricane Milton here in Cape Coral over the past couple of hours, and you're right. A couple of minutes ago, really, when we walked out here, it was blowing from right to left, left to right, and there was intense rain, intense wind. It was a wet situation, a dangerous situation out here, but as you can see, it's pretty calm right now, but not for long. I would caution, every couple of minutes, it does change. Now, the main thing that we've been paying attention to and a lot of our viewers have been calling in for is these massive flares that we've been seeing all around us. We've been seeing light flares right and left. A couple of hours ago, you saw right behind me before I went live, we had a massive flare. So I had a chance to speak to Karen Ryan, who is with LCEC, and she explained to me exactly what we're seeing. We don't have that sound for you right now, but she's basically that what those flares are essentially a defense mechanism, and it means that these electrical components as they should be. We want to keep note and we want to let our viewers know that if you do see any down power lines, you don't want to approach it, you don't want to get anywhere near it. It could be a safe could lead to electrocution. So as you're out here, as you're enduring these conditions, you should be taking shelter. You should be staying home. You shouldn't be out, period. But if you are, definitely pay attention to these electrical lines and these areas that are of the extra cautious around over here as Hurricane Milton passes uh, us and through the Sarasota area and through. Uh, for now, we're going to be monitoring the conditions out here for you. It seems it's starting to pick up right now. Reporting live in Cape Coral, Mahmoud Bennett, Fox 4. All right, we apologize for those audio issues. Obviously, dealing with the inclement weather, it affects some of the connections sometimes. So I want to uh, let you take a listen to Karen Ryan again. She's with LCEC to talk about what Mahmoud was just explaining. Those are protective devices, and what they do is they operate when we have severe storms or something contacts the power lines, and it prevents larger damage, more severe damage to the electric grid. So it could either be a fuse opening, it could be a, um, a transformer, it could, there's a multitude of things that it could be, but there are protective devices. If we didn't, if those were not on the lines, then it would cause damage that would take a long, long, long time to repair. 